Hello guys, I am Vikram. Today in this dynamic block series, I'm going to show you how you can create an awesome dynamic staircase in just a couple of clicks. It's going to be an easy one. At the same time, the only tutorial on YouTube for dynamic staircase. Having said that, let's get started. <laughs> All right, let's set up the drawing units. Type UN on the command box, change the units to architecture, precisions to half inch, click on OK to close. Use polyline and draw a rectangle of 3 feet 11 inch by 6 feet 3 inch. This is going to be our staircase mid landing. Then draw another polyline of 3 feet which is going to be our staircase step and offset that line by 11 inches. Use polyedit command and change the outer boundary line thickness to 0.3 and change all other lines to 0.1. I'm going to create a duplicate of a step and this will be our state staircase. To create the staircase dialing, offset the boundary by one inch and change the line by to 0.1. Repeat the same for the rectangle that we copied to the right side. Now select all the objects and type B on the command line to create the block. Now specify the block name and the base point. And open it in block editor. All right, go to parameters. Select visibility and place it at the top. Now go to visibility states. Create new visibility state. Select show all existing objects and click on OK. Rename the existing visibility states. Click on OK. Now select the rectangle and move it to the base point. Again, select only the rectangle. Click on Make Invisible. Now switch to straight visible state. Now select everything except the rectangle. Click on make invisible. Now we have two different visibility state. Go back to flat turn. 
go to parameter sets, select linear stretch. This parameter will have stretch action added to it. So we don't have to add stretch action separately. I'm going to specify the landing horizontal dimension and vertical dimension. And one more for our left side step and the right side step. And add one more for our mid landing midpoint distance. Go to parameters and select base point, place it at the top left corner. Now right click on distance one stretch action and select new selection set. Specify the stretch frame. Select all the objects except distance two. Now right click on distance two stretch action, go to new selection set specify the stretch frame and select all the objects inside that. Repeat the same step for all the stretch action. When you select new selection set for distance three, make sure that you don't select the horizontal line. Now select array action, select distance three, and then select the horizontal line and specify the array distance of 11 inch. Our flat turn staircase is ready. Now go to straight staircase. Go to parameters, select linear and specify the horizontal distance. Press enter to repeat the linear parameter and specify the vertical distance. Select both the parameters, go to properties and change the number of clips to one. Now go to actions, select stretch action, select distance six, specify the stretch point and the stretch frame and select all the objects inside the frame. Press enter to repeat stretch action, select distance seven, specify the stretch at the bottom, draw a rectangle and then select all the objects inside the rectangle. Now select array action, select distance seven and the horizontal line at the bottom and then specify array distance of 11 inch. Select distance seven, go to properties, change the distance type to increment and enter 11 inches for distance increment and 11 inch for distance minimum. Switch to flat turn visibility states. 
select distance 3 and distance 4. Change the distance type to increment and enter value of 11 inches. Now close the block editor. To test both the visibility state, I'm going to copy this over to the right and switch to stripe. Now let's test the block. All the actions that we have assigned to our dynamic block is working fine. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this. If you learn something new, make sure that you like and subscribe. Until our next video, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace.